if you are not prepared for what you are praying for, when this thing arrives, like it's going to pass you by, it's going to slip off your fingers, and you don't want that. So prepare yourself as much as possible in every area for what you are praying for, for what you are trusting God for, so that when it arrives, you have the capacity to accommodate it. <music> hi welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel i really don't know why i like saying you hey, welcome back to my channel two times but anyways <laughs> welcome back to my channel how are you doing today i hope you're doing good i hope you're feeling great you'd have seen the topic you'd have seen the topic but i would still tell you today we'll be talking about um green flags to look out in a person to actually say yes so like reasons why you should actually say yes to, to a person and this like majorly i feel like it can be for both genders but actually like i'm actually doing this for the ladies so i've come to realize that a lot of times like people actually focus on oh red flag red, red flag red flag when you when you see this in a person don't date them or don't go into a relationship with them when you see this in the person don't get married to them and all that but so many people don't even talk about like qualities to look out for in a person and one funny thing is if you ask some people if you ask some ladies oh so when you get married or when you have to settle down what qualities or what do you want your future husband to be like or look like? What do you want your future wife like? What qualities do you want? The first thing you hear majority of people say is, oh, I want a dark, tall, and handsome guy. I want a guy that is financially stable. I want a guy that is this. And for the guys, you hear, oh, I want a lady that can cook. I want a lady that can take care of me. I want a this. I want a that. But people always forget but people always forget that choosing a life partner or choosing someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with like is beyond like yes it's actually don't get me wrong it's right to like get married to someone that is financially stable because money actually settles a lot like you want to get a house you want to get a car you want to like even feeding and all that like you need money for that but beyond that beyond so many people have um financially stable partners without happiness without sports, one frustration onto the other every day so you don't want that and so many people even have their priorities set straight like when it comes to picking a partner so um i'm just going to be listing some things like other valuable and more important things that you should actually look out for before you say yes to somebody like some green lights that you see in a partner like okay yes like is a big yes so, so the first thing that you should actually look out for is somebody who actually puts God first in all that they do, like that puts God first before you and your relationship. Because honestly, like a person who fears the Lord, a woman who fears the Lord, a man who fears the Lord would actually, like it's from fearing the Lord and actually loving God so much. It is that love that he or she would be able to transfer back to you from staying with God and like coming to really love God. And that is where they learn how to really love you as the Bible has commanded them to actually love you. But a person who doesn't even understand the love of God, who doesn't even love God, who doesn't even reference God, there's a big probability that they might actually not treat you right. They might not treat you, they might not treat you um as best as they should actually do because they don't even have it to give so a man who fears the lord a man who loves the lord a woman who fears the lord and loves the lord should be your number one priority and yeah number two this is actually very very important especially for ladies like i said at the beginning of this video I actually wrote down this point for ladies but i feel like it actually applies to both genders so if you want to pick a life partner like you have to pick someone who is so particular about your growth like your growth in all areas like i've seen men that will get married to women and they will say oh you are not working they don't even care if you're even a first class first class product while you were in school or even beyond being a first class product like some people are so talented and because they got married like those dreams those as aspirations those um 
division and everything just died because they got married and it should even be like that like a man a husband is there to nurture you like when you marry right like the man is actually going to water you and help you grow into your best version like it keeps helping you grow into your best version it keeps making you as good as great as you should actually be so get a partner who would not kill your dreams who would not kill your ambitions who would not talk you down on the great things that you are meant to achieve but someone who would push you even into becoming better someone that even you that have the vision when you are being tired or you're not going at the pace that you are, you are supposed to go someone who will push you to actually um be a better version of you and they would not just even just push you to becoming a better version of you someone who will help you who would hold your hands give you step by step ideas and hold that on how to actually become the best version of yourself so the third point um is a man who is particular about actually making you a financially stable woman not because he's looking for a 50 50 sharing something in the family and it's actually not bad if a woman can actually like assist if you're in, in the financial state or if you have the financial capacity to actually assist in your home, for crying out loud, is your home, is your family. Whatever you're going to buy, you guys are going to use it as a family. So there's nothing about the woman actually assisting the man. But when it comes to a situation where it seems like the man is trying to like, oh, start making your money so that at least you fend for yourself, by fire, by fire, you have to like support the home, like trying to pass what God has said a man should do, provide for the home, is trying to pass it on you, then that's where there's a problem. But when there's that willingness, I feel like if it is your home and you love your husband, honestly, like you want to go all out to make sure that you assist him, that at least he's not stressing too much. I feel like it just comes naturally to a woman who really loves her husband and appreciates his effort in the home. Like nobody has to tell you that, or oh, assist him or help him. Like it just comes like it's like a default setting so someone who actually like encourages you to like have your own money so that at least when you need something like you don't have to be like so dependent on people not because it's seeing you as a burden but everybody knows that there's this joy in having your own money so someone that is so particular about you and i'm not even talking about a scenario where you don't even have anything doing you know the funny thing sometimes you have a business and you don't even know how to even manage your finances like if you see a man or a woman who is so particular about like helping you get that place straight so that your financial life you can have half I just say have <laughs> is that like a phonetic something you can have like a um, healthy financial life then guys hold that person tight and yeah the next point this is very very important a man or a woman who encourages you to love God even more than you do like before you met this person, you love God. You now meet this person, like this person inspires you, this person encourages you to even love God even better than you you loved him before. Like that is a you're not going anywhere kind of thing. So someone who encourages you to love God, someone whose love for God even encourages you to love God is even someone you must even keep by force by fire. I feel like I'm being dramatic about this, but it's just very important, honestly. Like when you see someone who helps your relationship with God, who encourages you to pray more, who encourages you to study the Bible, who encourages you to be more like Christ every day. Like guys, you don't want to marry or get you don't want to settle down with a person who's going to um destroy everything that you have known of Christ, like that Christ like nature that is that God is still helping you build because we are still a work in progress in our journey with Christ. So it's like you they are still a work in progress. Not gonna jump somebody that's going to pull you back from where you are coming from. Because honestly, if you marry the wrong person, it's going to test your patience. If even the right person said, because people still fight, <laughs> it will still have misunderstandings. So now imagine marrying someone and then there will be so many misunderstandings and all that there. So marry someone who loves the Lord is very, very important. Like a man who loves the Lord with even in his anger, who still open his ear to hear the Lord, who still not act out of anger, would not raise his hands on you. A woman who loves 
the Lord will not provoke you intentionally like that. Some women that you just put themselves as 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 agent of darkness, they just want to frustrate the man. Oh yeah, beat me. Oh yeah, enjoy me. Oh yeah, do this one. You're not going anywhere. Like you don't want to marry someone who will lead you, who will drag you to hell. You want to marry someone who would help you. Like focus on the price. Everyone needs to go. Yeah, I think I've mentioned this point before in one of the points I just said, like, marry someone who every day, every time encourages you to become a better version of yourself. Like, regardless of the achievements that you think you have achieved or anything that you feel like you have made, no matter how much you feel like you have made it in life, you can marry someone who sees even a better version of you. You know, sometimes if your spouse can even, like, see what you don't even see, like, they're the one that will open your eyes to, oh, this there is a possibility in this thing. Like, you can actually be more in this aspect. But don't marry someone who's going to tear down the little vision of the little dream that you are trying to build. So marry someone who encourages you, who inspires you to become a better version of yourself. Like, if you check on social media, I'm so small, you know, Moren Kemulayi, J. Booms, and all that. Like, Total Local Solutions and all these people, like, have you seen them? Have you seen their husband? Like, this people are making waves. Like, that's one example of what actually having the right partner looks like. So, please, you guys can't even afford to miss it. Something about when you're already married to someone already, like, the damage is already done. Like, but when you are not yet married, like, there is so much you can still be delivered. Like, there is no story that touches their heart yet. So, please, the right making the right decision in this aspect is in your hands. There's little that we can say. There's little that we can do. All we can just do is just to encourage you and tell you the right path to go, teach you how to do it. And it's left in your hands to actually take these things and practice them. Yeah, get married to someone who is always willing to teach you, a man who's ready to teach you in love. Not someone that they'll say they are teaching you and the next thing, like there's so many verbal abuse, like mm, mm, don't have sense. Like to be honest, like as much as people feel like, oh, that thing is like is play please don't even try with me like in my house it is not it is not accepted even when we were dating like it is not no matter how close you think that we are yes my husband like we are friends but please don't use what they're with me don't use my mom don't use your head is not correct please no because when our children come they would not now even have a child now you will not understand that our mommy and daddy they are playing the next thing my child will be calling me all day and i'll be angry because you yeah, see mommy and daddy used to play nobody go angry so then there's nothing bad if I call mommy your day or if I call daddy your day. Like, it is, it's not speaking what you should speak. Like, it's not teaching them what you should teach. Like, even in a Christian home, it's not even supposed to be like that. Like, guys, there are other ways to be playful with your partner. So, I just took this personal. So, someone who is willing to teach and correct you in love, not someone that, maybe even the woman or the is not play, but some people like this, they will say you don't have sense. Like, and they mean it. Like, they feel like you hear some people tell their partner that you are slow. You don't even understand this thing. But they must tell you this thing 100 times before you understand. You don't know book. You are such a dullard. Like, so many, if some people tell you the things that their partner actually say to them to tear them down, to break them down, like, guys, you would never even want to believe it. And it starts from even when you guys are dating or when you guys are even just friends. Like, look out for these things. Marry someone who will teach you and correct you, not show you in love, not someone who will even tear you down and even kill the small self esteem that you are trying to even hold on to. And this is like the second to the last point here. So, marry somebody who is willing to keep God's commandment of waiting till marriage. As a believer, we all know God's standards. Like, the, the Bible has told us already, keep the marriage bed undefiled. Like, regardless of what the society might be saying, regardless of how the society has painted it to be like, oh, having sex before marriage is nothing bad, or if you guys kiss before this one is nothing bad. Like, every, boy, every believer knows God's standard. Like, Whoever is trying to justify it and say, oh, oh so we don't know, we don't know. Like, guys, it is still outside God's standard. But get married to a person. If you see a man who is willing to, and pray for discernment, because some people are willing to stay till after marriage and they have ulterior motive. Like, they are, they are, they are, they are goats in sheep clothing. So, this is where you need discernment. Pray, but when you see a genuine man who really loves God and is willing to keep this commandment of waiting till marriage, then guys, hold on to it because I feel like in this part of the world, we even have ladies too that don't even, don't even buy into this knowledge of this idea, like this commandment of staying till marriage. Because they're like, they like, they're not in garbage. I kid you not, we still have a billion <laughs> weddings out there. It's so hard to speak out because. 
I remember before I got married, it was hard to speak out because I just had this this fear of if I speak out now, I hope I'm not in danger. I hope somebody will not be after me to say, Oh, yes, hey, virgin, oh, I'm coming after you. So, like, I had that fear. So, but now I uh, have married, so what are we talking about? <laughs> that may be serious. Okay, jokes apart. But we still have people who are still virgins and are happy about it. But I just be shy to speak about it because of the society that we found ourselves like nonsense actually has more boldness like to come out and say they are rubbish. They have more people that are doing nonsense. Like they have the boldness to come and speak about it. But it's people that are doing the right thing. Like there's just this thing of shut up or no the boldness to actually come out to speak about it is actually like very low and i just pray for boldness i pray for courage for people who are doing the right thing to come out for other people who feel like they are no longer people like that for them to know that there are still a lot of people out there that are still doing it the right way so if it's someone who is ready to help you keep that standard of god till you guys get married then guys hold on to them because it's like in a pervert system right now so guys yeah that's it. The last point, which is very, very important, like when you see a partner who shares the same value, who shares the same, who shares the same values and believe with you, my brother might start with them time because I feel like this thing is a very, very, a major problem in marriage. Like many people getting married to people that their values are like this. So you now see them fighting, you see them having issues, you see them having misunderstanding, like values aligning, values matching is a very big is a very very important thing when it comes to marriage so guys don't get don't get married to a person that your values don't match don't even make that mistake of getting married to someone that your values don't match values have to match in every aspect like and how do you know that your values match like in the conversations like you guys have to have many conversations while you guys are dating or courting that is when you get to know, like from conversations, you can pick out if this person and you people are thinking alike, if your values are aligning. Like when you say something, person saying that you are here, yeah, yeah, oh, what's going on here? So those are the ways, like, don't be too blinded and too carried away by, oh, I love, love the mushy, mushy, mushy. Like by the time you enter Wahala, the mushiness will fly away immediately. So you don't have to enter Wahala before you. Now, before your eyes will not get opened. In conclusion, I'll just be saying that as much as you are also praying to, you are praying and you are hoping and you are trusting God, you are preparing to like meet a man or a woman with this green light that I have mentioned, with these qualities that I have mentioned. Like, make sure you are prepared enough. Like, everything about you speaks, ticks the same box so that when they see you, they can see those values that they want. Not like you are praying for something. Like some people want. Imagine, let me make. You know, before Lawrence Oyo got married, imagine the lady who doesn't pray. Who our relationship with God is just like one year, once in a year. And you want to marry Lawrence Oyo? Like how? As how? As how? <laughs> like honestly, like you can't get some things because you're no, you are not fit for it. Like you are not fit for it. Like why will my son say he wants to wear his daddy's shoe? like no no even if they are both meals like their shoe size is all or far like very very like very very different so yeah. so that's the end of this video so thank you so much for watching please do well to drop a comment if there are other things that you feel like people should um look out for when trying to pick a life partner when you want to say yes to somebody please do well to drop it in the comment section and please do well to like please do well to like share subscribe comment give a thumbs up anything you want to call it and yeah if you have not clicked on the notification bell for you to know whenever i drop a new video is right beside the subscribe button please do well to also click that so every time i post a new video you get notified and you can be part of the first people to actually watch. Thank you so much for staying till this time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the engagement. God bless you until I see you in the next one. And hopefully, it will be my husband. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys.